Los Angeles parent Brenda Del Hierro is helping her 10-year-old daughter Emma with school lessons online. It's been kind of stressful just because I I I feel like we get more work at I feel like we get more work here than at school. Emma's mother says virtual learning is not ideal, but she's against sending her daughter back to class. The risk outweigh everything. I can't I can't risk my kids getting sick or possibly getting somebody else sick or their teachers or vice versa. On Friday, California Governor Gavin Newsom laid out detailed guidelines for school reopenings, including mandatory mask wearing. Schools in counties with low numbers of COVID cases and downward trends may reopen. Otherwise, the school doors must remain closed. Schools that don't meet this requirement, they must begin the school year this fall through distance learning. School reopening has become a national political issue. President Donald Trump says Democrats are scheming to make him look bad. They think it's going to be good for them politically, so they keep the schools closed. No way. So we're very much going to put pressure on uh, governors and everybody else to open the schools. Back in May, House Democrats approved $90 billion to support schools reopening safely. But the Republican Senate has not approved that measure. But when you make it about politics and just people trying to score points and get elected, I mean, that's that I really think it's a disservice to how incredibly important this issue is. The conservative dominated school board in Orange County, California, recently voted to allow schools to fully reopen without masks or social distancing. It's time to get these doors open and get these babies back to school. But the school board has no power to order schools to reopen. That's a decision made by local school districts. And so far, the county's largest districts say they'll opt for virtual learning. Los Angeles and San Diego schools will also use distance learning for students. Brenda Del Hierro has a message for Trump. My kids are not guinea pigs. I am not going to send my kid to school to see if they're going to get COVID and to see if they're going to survive COVID. An agonizing dilemma for parents, teachers, and kids now weaponized for political purposes. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.